Madam President, this is a joint statement of ILGA Europe and drafted in consultation with the Women's Initiative Supporting Group. During the third cycle, Georgia received 23 recommendations related to sexual orientation, gender identity and expression, and sex characteristics issues. While we welcome the fact that Georgia accepted 22 of these recommendations, we are deeply alarmed by the situation regarding human rights of LGBTI persons in Georgia. The recommendations accepted by Georgia urge the government to protect and fulfill the human rights of LGBTI persons to freedom of assembly and expression and to combat violence, hate speech, and discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Nevertheless, during the past several days when the Pride in Tbilisi was due to take place, there have been reports of violence, damage of property, and general fear of the community members installed throughout the country. This week, around 50 journalists who were reflecting the counter manifestations of those opposed to the Pride were beaten by the homophobic groups. The police was present with regular equipment, not in riot gear, and did little to stop the violence. Several officers of the LGBTI and ally groups were vandalized, again with no police involvement. Together with several Georgian LGBTI community organizations, we urge the government of Georgia to address these hate crimes in an adequate manner, conduct proper and throughout investigations, and hold those responsible to account. We call as well on Georgian authorities to take necessary measures to ensure the safety of the LGBTI community in general. With this statement, we call on Georgian authorities to swiftly respond to the recent instance of hate crime incidents with one ambiguous public condemnation and prevent the proliferation of hate speech and incitement to violence and social divide. Georgia should take immediate action to address LGBTI-phobic violence and the climate of fear that prevails within the LGBTI community in order to prevent an escalation of violence and hate crimes and to ensure that Georgia fulfills their international human rights obligations in line with the 22 LGBTI recommendations accepted during this third cycle. Thank you, Madam President.